All right, so let's go over the, um, we've done several videos on um, our four setups. Uh, the first wave, then we have the uh, slingshot, and then we have the um, Momo, and then we have the failure trade. So those are all um, our four setups that we need to understand to trade any market. And they work universal right across the board. And traders uh, can use Chart Trader to fire in the trade, but some traders like to use strategies. So let me uh, take a look at uh, what we're doing. We're merging both of our strategies into one strategy. Now, this will be the last update we're doing for strategies because it has our four setups, all of them in it. And it's going to be very simple. Let me show you what it looks like first. And then I'm going to show you our momentum strategy in a minute you're going to get also so you're going to have two strategies available to you this is um currently i'll go over this in a second the momentum strategy with the market stronger or weaker that's a very simple strategy you could use i'll show you how to use it in a second um but let's go over what i'm merging together right now so i'm merging the sim momo and the sim wave into one file and i'm making it very simple um this is this is exactly how it's going to look. Um, that I'm having a uh, outside programmer actually just doing all this for us right now, and um, this is what's going to be. It's going to be very simple, straight, just like this in a row. Uh, the indicator and strategy are going to feed off each other. Let me see if I can get this out of the way here so you can see it better. There we go. Let me get over here. So what we're going to do is from top to bottom, it's going to have the trend filter. It's going to have the speed candles. It's going to have just two inputs for the uh, the zones. And then I'm going to have four toggle switches. It's going to be a first wave, slingshot, momo, and a failure. These are our four setups we have in the room already. Now, based upon as if you know how to trade the system already from the videos or being members in the room, you realize that the key to the setups are the zones with the signal lines below. So these are toggle switches that first wave slingshot momo failure be toggle switches below that i got signal line one and signal line two um, what that will do is that will you can change the input when these pull in on all four of these setups i got the input that's in the room uh, a default that's going to be on there then i have an alert uh, an alert will when an arrow fires on one of those four setups it will you can change the alert sound uh, to any wave sound that you want and um, I have an alert in there. So that's what the indicator is going to look like straight down through. Then the, um, the after alert, this is what um, the strategy will look like. Uh, you have your start stop time. You have your stop ticks. Target one through four. There's your four ATRs. Break even plus one. Toggle switch. And a daily goal, daily stop. So this is, you're not going to have any other in, uh, ingredients to change at all. Everything's built into the code. I'm making this very simple simplistic because I'm building all of the criteria into the toggle switches so the first wave slingshot moment and failure toggle switches are going to be check marks if you just want to take first wave trades you would check that and only arrows will fire on the indicator strategy for first waves if you just want to take failure trades check that only failure trades will fire on the indicator or um, or strategy so you can, you can use the indicator by itself just to fire arrows, or you can use the, uh, with the alert system, alert sound that will alert when a trade's coming up on those four setups. Or you can, uh, you can uh, use a combo of these and do all four if you want, uh, but you can do individuals. Let's say you just like slingshot trades, or let's say you just like failure trades because failure trades. I call my Babe Ruth trades because they have a lot of high reward to risk. They tend to move quite well uh, due, due to the small risk and the high movement in nature uh, because it catches a trend before it starts. Um, so let's say you just want to do failure. You would hit that toggle switch on failure, and then your targets and trails would, would kick in. So this is exactly what the indicator strategy is going to look like. I'm merging them now. Like I said, we have an outside programmer helping us out to do this right now, uh, merging all these together. But this is exactly what it's going to look like. There's no other, there's nothing else to, uh, the, the learning curve on this is going to be very simple because I got everything built into the strategy, in, into the toggle switches. 
So um, you're not going to have to understand how to change the, this this and uh, this parameter and this parameter and this parameter. Everything is built into the toggle switches. Okay, so that I'm merging both those. We will put that uh, when this is done. We're going to put it on the members download page. Um, we will take the other two off and shut those down, and you will have one file to work off of with all four of our setups uh, that will be run through uh, as a strategy. Okay, so, and, and these are the four setups well, we're not going to change um, uh, going forward or the strategy. Uh, this is our last strategy that we're actually going to be um, uh, having in the room for members to download in the momentum strategy because they work so well. The four, the four setups, it, it, it's either a first wave slingshot MOMO or a failure, and that's just the rhythm of the market uh, with the, our methodology. It works so well. So um, this will be uh, Gerald's last uh, update because we're packaging everything together. I took all the members' um, uh, different um, ideas and, and suggestions, and they wanted things very simple, right to the point, our four setups in a strategy form, and that's what this is going to be. So that's exactly the format, uh, top to bottom, uh, trend first. It's going to go down through here. Uh, this will be our zones that will pop up. You will be able to change the zones if you like, um, but then your signal lines will be there also if you want to change those as far as that, that goes also. All right, so that, that's something that we will get into uh, um, once it's done. It will be on the download page. Okay. Yes, uh, you can have any entry quality one through four. You, you don't have to have four targets. You can do one target, a target one, uh, a ta uh, two targets, three targets, four targets, etc. Lisa, it doesn't matter. Yep, you got it. All right, let's go over into the momentum strategy. That is this one that's running on the S and P right now. Now this is a little bit more simplistic strategy. This is just when the market gets. Um, a lot of you traders wanted this into a strategy form. Um, if you read both of my PDFs, um, I'm really big on buying, uh, buying high, selling higher, shorting low, buying lower. It catches a lot of counter trend traders or wrongly positioned traders. So what uh, I've done, I've done, I made a very simple strategy. It's just simply waiting for, uh, for the market to get into a stronger or weaker position and then run a series of trades from that stronger, weaker position. This is the S&P today on September 1st. All right, so it runs a, a trades based upon if the market is strong or weak. So if the market is strong in a stronger position like this, and this will come with a PDF. Both of them will come with a PDF um, with all the a breakdown of all the different uh, uh, indicators, I mean the um, setups. Not setups, but uh, parameters. So you see, we're in a strong position. It just took a long there. It's actually long right now on the S&P. Um, so there's two ways you can do this. It's a very, like I said, simple strategy. This is more involved. I mean, this a little bit more because I, I'm using all my techniques: uh, first wave slingshot, momo, and failure trades as toggle switches. But this is more momentum. So if you're a, it. The best way to trade the, the, this this strategy, so you're going to have two strategies to download, and that's it. And and, and this is going to be us moving forward this year, next year, we, we, because we know our four setups work so well. So this will be our last strategy to download, because I'm putting everything into one strategy here for the four setups. And then if you like trade momentum, we have this simple strategy over here you can use also. So here's how you could... This is the way you can trade uh, this, this momentum. So we know how to trade our four setups over here. We know how that works. So let's get into how we can trade the momentum, the momentum setup versus our four setup. So we know what the market gets. Let me put the NASDAQ next to it here also. So what we know is we know when the market gets in a stronger or weaker position, it tends to flow in that direction. So what we've done is I put it into a strategy form. And, and like I said, this has nothing to do with our four setups. 
our four setups are going to be all inclusive into one strategy. And here, right here. So it's going to, like I said, it's going to have four toggle switches. Oops, let's get this other way. Don't get this confused. This is going to be one strategy here that has four of our setups in it. It's going to have the first wave, slingshot, mobile, and failure. All four of those will be toggle switches that you can toggle on if you want those to fire arrows. So let's say you put in a slingshot right there and you have a toggle switch on. That's the indicator will fire an arrow right exactly when it gets through my bare threshold right there. So a slingshot arrow would fire there. Okay. So um, if you had slingshot in a strategy would go along there and it would trail from that position. If you had slingshot toggle switch on. So the four the four toggle switches will be here. It will have these four setups in it. From those four setups, I'm going to have my signal lines pull us in. Now you can adjust your signal lines where you want it, but I'm going to have standard what I use in the room. So then we're going to have to be able to adjust our signal lines right below that. All right, so that is one strategy that has everything in it. It has our indicator and our strategy with our four setups, okay? I'm merging, like I said, the SimWave and the Momo together to make one simple strategy. This is exactly, exactly how it looks under the indicator and strategy, top to bottom, okay? So you're not going to have anything else to do. There's no other things you need to, uh, uh, you know, when you pull up the indicator of strategy, it's going to look just like this in a row. Very simple to understand, okay? So the indicator will fire the arrows. What from whatever strategy that you have, whether it be a first wave strategy, slingshot, mode, more failure, it will fire the arrow when those are qualified based upon the signal lines. All right? Where the mo momentum strategy is totally different. This is strictly getting into momentum. All right? So this one is where we're getting into momentum. The market has momentum. So this is the S&P trades on September 1st where the market's in a stronger position. Okay? So there's two ways you can do it. I put a trend filter in this for a higher time frame trend filter. This is a very simple, simple strategy. Right here, it's trailing the uh, NASDAQ futures right now. It got long at 15, 51, and three quarters. And it's up to what, 15 or what, 635. And it got up, it, it's long at 551. It's at 635 now. So it's, it's up a real nice sizable move here this morning when it got long. Um, as far as on this Renko size. So two ways you can do this with momentum. You can do it where you turn the trend filter on. So this has a trend filter on where it's only looking at a larger Renko size and getting in on a smaller Renko. Okay. Now I have a PDF on both of these. Like I said, the PDF on, on this one will break down all of these parameters. Okay, it's very simple. It's going to be a couple page PDF. It's going to explain exactly what all these parameters do. That's going to accompany that. Then I got a PDF that's coming with this one. This one's coming first because this one's getting programmed right now by our outside programmer. This is getting done now. Okay, merging. When that's done, I'll, I'll, I'll get that out to you on the members download page. This one's coming first. This is coming out to Gerald this weekend. Uh, with the PDF, um, I'm going to give it to him, and he's going to uh, lock it up. Please do not email him. When he's finished locking it up, he will put it on the members download page, and um, he will he will let you guys know when it's ready. Okay. So what we're going to do is um, this is a momentum strategy. It has nothing to do with our four setups. So let's be clear about that. So what this strategy does is strictly momentum, but how can we how can we use this? Now some of you traders will love this because a lot a lot of you love to trade momentum. All right, right now we're in a momentum move on the S and P. It's taking trade after trade after trade. Right now it's in a momentum move up on the in trailing on the Nasdaq futures. So you can do it one of two ways. This is without a trend filter. All right. So how you can do it is the best trades on trading momentum is after a trend change. So when you get this, the best series of trades are going to be after you get a trend change. So if you get a trend change, you get a series of nice trades. You get a trend change, series of nice trades, trend change, series of nice trades, trend change, series of nice trades. So this is taking all 
the momentum of the market. Now this is a 140, what is it? 140, 40. But this is taking the momentum of the market and pushing you in the market without a trend filter. It's strictly going with the overall zones. All right. So when you get a trend change, that's when it likes to fire in these trades. Um, and you get a series of trades. So if you were to trade this and you were to trade this momentum with a strategy, you could wait for a trend change because that's your most accurate time to trade. Because when this momentum dissipates, that's when that's the end of a trend. And that's when you get a stop out on a trend change. So if you were to trade a strategy like this, one way you could trade it is without a trend filter is wait for a trend change and then get into the first set of series, the first set of, tra of trade because that is typically your largest runner or your most successful trades after an a ATR is violated. So once that ATR is violated and that's uh, what I've done is I put it on the, my outer zone on my because we know how accurate my zones are. They've been back tested for 30 years. So we know when we break that outer zone, price action tends to go the other way. So what you can do as far as a strategy goes, and this will be in the PDF, is you could turn it on um, after you get a trend change and let it run a series of trades for you. And that would be one way you could trade this. Now, if you want to just let it run around the clock, there's a way to do that too. If you want to run this thing around the clock like this, then what you can do is you can you can use a higher time frame to get in lower time frames. So now it's not going to take all the ways. Now listen, a past performance is not future results. So I'll, I'll just show you how getting into a. So this is just on a large contract on the NQ, but you can see that you're when you're stronger or weaker, it, it does pretty well. Just just a simple momentum indicator. It does pretty well. And like I said, past performance is not indicative of future results. We can't guarantee it's going to happen in the future. Obviously, that's why we all sign risk disclaimers. But what this does tell me, it tells me that momentum works really well. So when you, when you get this, I have the slippage built in. So when you go to, let's say, into historical and you find a, a momentum thing you like and you like these results and you go into these trades, into the analysis and you go back into it and you're like, well, th th that's pretty good. You know, obviously the 29th, it was crazy good, but you know, and you like seeing the results uh, that's pretty close where you're going to get because it's, um, I had the slippage built into the trade already, meaning it, it's going to buy at the high of the Renko bar and it's going to get us out when the ATR is violated. So, you don't really need to run a lot of market replay, which you can, um, but uh, there's another way you can do it too. You can actually have a larger Renko size and bring this a trailing ATR up, meaning you can bring it up to like a, a 0.5 or I even have a point on my larger Renko sizes. I have it up to a 0.2, my ATR, where it trails right up here tight on momentum. You know, so you can you can do that also with this momentum indicator. You can trade off larger Renko sizes and bring this ATR up into just below this zone up here if you'd like um, on larger Renkos. You can do that also where you can bring up, and this would be your trailing stop on momentum. So that's some, that's that's an advantage you can do with this also with this type of um, you know with this type of momentum strategy. So if you want to let this run around the clock. That's something you can do. You can let it run around the clock like this, but because what I've done is on this one is I strictly am taking longs. You see there's no shorts in this. It's only taking longs because the market on a longer Renko size is in a uptrend. So if it's in an uptrend, then what we want to do is we want to, right here, you can see it trails when if you have your trend filter on, and I have this in the PDF to show you examples. If you want to trade momentum on longer Renko sizes with the trend filter, you're able to do that also. And you can see once it gets into a nice trend, these things start to move pretty well. That's one way to do it. Or you can go to smaller Renko sizes like this. And then on this uh, momentum strategy, 
you can wait for a trend change and then try to get in a series of first trades, the first couple of trades. Okay, so um, you, it's universal in any really time frame that you want to use, Thomas. Um, you can you can put this is a a forty and this is a larger Renko on the NQ. So you can whatever Renko size that you want to do, you can do that based upon in a stronger and weaker market. And there's no really limit to what Renko size you can use. Like on this, on the NQ, this is a 200 uni Renko, a 1, 200, 200 uni Renko. So, you know, you could use whatever that you want to use as the 140, 40 on the S&P. So you could really fit to what your what the momentum that you see, like the you see a lot of good momentum on the 140 on the um, on the ES. The ES on the 140, I like it because you get a lot of good momentum and the first couple of series of trades are, are, are good. But don't get caught up on the Rinko size per se, Thomas. You can fit it to your liking on the Rinko size that, that you prefer. Um, what If you're using a momentum, here's, here's one thing about momentum though. And I'll tell you this, Thomas, when, when you're fitting this strategy, momentum strategy, into your trading plan, if you go too small of a Renko, let's say you go to a 13 Renko, there's too many trend changes, right? So you're not getting in a series of, 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 of successful after the ATR is violated. Not unless you, you know, it, unless you take the first two or three trades. So if you go too small, if you're using this momentum, you want, you want, you want to be in a stronger, weaker position. For example, I want to stay in a stronger position as long as I can on the NQ or the S&P or what have you. So when using this strategy is that the, a great way to look at it is when the ATR is violated. So when or your trend change. So if you get a trend change and you over you put this strategy over top our software, right? And you put this strategy over top our software, the best time to look at successful possible successful trades or when you get a trend change because what's ha what happens is that's a violation of the ATR if that makes sense Thomas so when you violate that ATR right which is my zone so when you violate this zone and we all know we've seen it happen so many times hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times we violate this zone that outer zone and you get in that deeper zone what happens you typically get a trend change right so we got to make sure we understand that. We got to make sure that we understand, and I have that in the PDF. Is that if you're going to run this uh, momentum indicator, the best time to to, to turn this uh, on is right after a trend change, because after a trend change, you have what? You have a series of momentum moves, and that's where you can capture ticks in the market. So. This momentum indicator can be done two ways. Like I said, you can wait for a trend change and turn the strategy on and let it run the trades in that direction of the trend change off of a Rinko size you like. Now, like I said, this is a 140 that works well on the ES. That's what I'm going to put in the PDF for you guys because it's a great starting point for some of you guys that want guys and gals that want to see momentum. These are these are two point targets. Each one two point two points. So right here, you're at uh, from this move this morning. We're at one, two, three, four, five, six, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, uh, nine, um, nine trades from momentum this morning. That's been in a stronger position this morning. So it's had nine trades here this morning so far as as far as that goes. So this the PDF will accompany this, and it will show you how to do that. This will be the first one that comes out. Uh, like I said, I will show you how to, if you want longer Rico sizes, um, I'm going to show you how to tighten this up where you can tighten it up. Let's say you want to use a really, really long Rico if you want a position trade and you only want to run a couple of trades on the NQ during the day. Um, like this one's been running since what, 3, 3.35 this morning, it's still trailing. And so, you know, there's a way to use a longer, uh, higher time frame, but there, you can also take this, um, uh, what, how I have this set to is this uh, trailing ATR, you can, it's not the close 
it's not it's not the close uh, um, if it closes below the ATR that's it but if you tighten this up and, and and momentum dissipates below that lower zone you're gonna get a stop out up here and I'll show you how to do that and we can run that on market replay on our next session I'll show you how you can have you can trade off larger momentum Renko sizes and have it it target up uh, targets here and have a real tight trail right there also so that's something we can do also with this momentum strategy so the these are two oh, I, will, I will have a PDF with this uh, Gerald's gonna start locking this up um, I'll get him the PDF and this over to him he'll start locking this up we'll put this on the members page uh, if, if you're gonna run this like I said guys um, you know you can you can run it how you want to run it I mean we, we try to give you an edge in the markets with our with our setups and we try to give you an edge with our strategies here uh, but if you if you do this the great time is trend changes when it trend changes it likes to get if you go back and you, you get this and you look at you like wow this thing has a lot of uh, nice trades right after a trend change so if you look at it that's when you're getting a lot of nice little moves after a trend change so if you wanted to use a strategy like I said wait for a trend change turn it on and let it run a series of trades for you you know if you want to go for this you know here's 8 16 24 32 40 48 this had a, a nice little over 50 tick move but what I'm saying is is that maybe your strategy is to only get the first two two trades off and then wait to another trend change so you could do that too. It's totally up to you guys how you want to use this automated strategy, but it's a great little way to get in a stronger, weaker position. And like I said, if you want to do it where it runs around the clock, then you're going to have to go a longer time frame. You're going to have to go where you're using the, you're using a higher time frame because you don't want a lot of trend changes if you're looking for momentum. Because what you want to do if you want to let this thing run around around the clock and don't want to have to turn it on, turn it off you want to stay in a stronger weaker position for an extended period of time now you know this is a 20 and a thousand target on, on two contracts uh, but uh, 20 first target thousand tick second target with no break even on it but my point is is that that's something I'll show you how to do in the PDF also and we can do market we don't necessarily have to do market replays because the, it's built into the uh, the the slippage is built pretty much into both of these it's going to be plus or minus a few ticks from when you turn this thing on from what your historical is going to be because I built a slippage into it. So that's how you can do it. You can let it run around the clock on this momentum indicator, or you can, uh, but you're going to have to use a larger Rinko size to do that. You can adjust your ATR to get tighter. I explained that in the PDF. Or a lot of you, this is very simple to do because it's very simple. You get a trend change, red to green, green to red. That's when you want to turn it on. Um, and you can see uh, with the large contract uh, or even the micros, you know, depending on how many micros are, 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 are the large contract you do, you know, even if you get the first couple series of trades, those are the most effective because it's after an ATR violation or a trend change. And then if, if you go back and look at this and you look at, well, after the trend change, that's a good time to look for a series of trade. After the trend change, that's a good time, a series of trades. So that's something you can do that that if you guys want to do that that's up to you if you want to uh, if you want to partake in that also all right then like I said this is our main so that's our momentum strategy it's a very simplistic simple strategy that you guys can use to uh, extract ticks from the market um, based upon momentum this is our main strategy because it has like I said our four setups this will be our last strategy we do over the next year, two years, three years, what have you, because it has our four strategies built into it. This is the first strategy I've ever done where I built all my strategies into one strategy. So I am testing this thing. I'm getting it built first with the with an outside program helping us out. And I'm going to test this thing really, really, really well before we send it out to you guys. And it's going to be exactly what it says. First wave slingshot moment of failure. And we all know our failure trades, a huge uh, uh, reward to risk. Our stop is very tight compared to of the reward it gives. So if you just want to do that, you can do that one. Slingshot, you can do that one. For the first wave, it's different than what we have now. It's 
All these require these signal lines to pull us in. So our signal lines are going to give us confirmation to pull in. Okay? And then the daily goal and stop, I'm going to make sure this works where if our daily goal is, let's say your daily goal is $300, it will stop trading. Um, our daily stop is $200, $300. It will stop trading completely. I want to make sure that's running smooth for us also. Um, and then our alert system also. Um, anytime we get these four strategies that come up, these four strategies right here that come up, um, an alert will fire off. And you can change the alert sound, not the annoying sound we're having to deal with right now. So we, we can change that. But this uh, will be on the members download page also. Okay, This will be our, our strategy based upon our four setups in a room. Uh, like I said, if you were trading, um, you'd be long here on the slingshot on this live uh, trade that's working right now for us right there too. All right, so like I said, this is the first one's going to come out to us right here. This is the first one that's going to come out to us. Um, Gerald's going to get this with the PDF. Uh, uh, I'll probably get over to him Sunday. He can work on it here um, next week when he's in the office when he can. Uh, please do not email him. When we are done with this, um, he will uh, put this on the members download page and you guys can download this. We will start going over setups like this. I'm going to start showing this one in the room. This is very, this is without the trend filter built on, but you can do it with the trend filter, like I said. And if you're looking for larger moves, you just need to use a larger Renko uh, if you want to do that, if you want to let it run around the clock. If you just want to, uh, you know, a sort of sniper trade where you want to wait for a trend change and then get, get in a series of trades, it's very simple to do. Let the strategy do the work for you. It already has a trail in. It has your targets in. You just have to double click and then uh, you know let let it pull you in, and then you're good to go. Okay. So you can let the let you can overlay this over top of your zones. So when the zones trend change, when the zones trend change, you can uh, open the strategy and try to get a series of of winners. Uh, potential winners right when a trend change happens. Now, if you, like I said, uh, it will only take stronger, weaker positions. Like right here, you're probably wondering, well, why didn't it take trades here? Well, it's not taking trades here because look at your oscillator below. We're not in a weak position, right? So it's not in a weak position right there. So it's only going to take trades in a stronger position, okay? So that's what this is. This will come out first, you guys, on the members download page. Uh, and we'll let we'll 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 send an email to members only when this is ready. Um, he'll have it th this weekend with the PDF, and then we'll do. Uh, Gerald can work on it next week, uh, the next week or week and a half, whatever it takes him. We're not going to pressure him to get it done on at his pace. So let let him do his work there, and then I'm going to get over to him next. I'll get over to him our core. This is our core strategy where we have. Um, our four main setups, and it's going to be very simple to understand. You're going to have four toggle switches, and whatever, since you have all these videos knowing how to use, how, how our setups work, I just build them into a strategy. And this will be our, 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 our um, this will be our uh, strategy we'll put on the members download page from that also.